Hi Gemini, this is Sandy Couture and I am here doing the astrological tarot reading for the sign of Gemini for the month of December 2021. Uh, thank you all for watching and I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and I also extend best holiday wishes for you coming up. Uh, this season, which is Sagittarius season, is actually a fun season, fun energetic season for all of us. Sagittarius energy is all about expansion, joy, um, uh, enthusiasm, loyalty, um, action, adventure. So there are not a lot of hard aspects going on either astrologically this month. Um, at least until the 14th. And even at that point, it's not hard. Although for you, Gemini, there will be a new moon in Sagittarius. So new moons, and it's also a total lunar eclipse, new moons carry the energy of planting seeds of desire. So anything that's been floating around in your head, something you'd like to do, this is the time to take action with it. Now the new moon is going to be opposing the sign of Gemini. So there's probably going to maybe be something abruptly come to you that will help you um, have a desire and put it into action. So be watching for that. And then the very next day, two planets will be moving direct, will be moving forward. The one planet is uh, Chiron, which is called the Wounded Warrior. It's about healing old wounds. And the other planet is Saturn, which is a planet of manifestation and crystallization, but also a, a planet that makes us take a hard look at what we're doing that is no longer serving us. Uh, because once you let go of that dead weight, you can move forward at a more accelerated pace. So um, that's going to be happening on the 14th and 15th. I'm very excited about what might be happening for people. If you have any feedback for me, leave it on a comment. I'd love to read it. So the first card that I pulled for you, Gemini, is Blind Justice. And basically this card is really, this is where you are now. It's really you're going to reap what you sow. So whatever you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, um, energetically will come back to you tenfold. Remember, you will always reap what you sow. You know, my best, um, best advice to everyone is be kind to yourself, to others, to situations, and take a beat before you make any action plans. So the surprise or challenge card, it's kind of a nice surprise card. It's the Nine of Cups, and the Nine of Cups is a is a card of well-being and happiness and joviality fits right in with Sagittarius energy. So it's like you're going to reap what you sow, but it looks like what you've been sowing is is love and kindness because it's all coming back to you and well-being, uh, material well-being too. The process for you to get through the month is to take the journey this woman is on a boat, which the water is emotions, but swords are an air card, all about thoughts. She has six swords, and six is always a good numerological number. It's about well-being and balance. But she's on a journey with the full moon or intuition behind her. So this is a combination of all of the elements. Gemini, maybe it's asking you to get out of your head and allow yourself to feel and intuit what's coming to you, not just thinking and figuring it out in your head. And the most likely outcome card is the Seven of Cups. Now the Seven of Cups, depending on where it comes in a reading, it can mean um, having too many choices to know what you want to do and to try to focus yourself. But at this most likely outcome card, it seems as though there's a lot of wonderful things that are going to be presenting themselves in your life. So it sounds like a really good reading for Gemini. I'm happy for you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you next month.